hello everyone peace be unto you welcome to my channel if today is the first time please do want to subscribe in this video i'm trying to make a side table with my old bucket okay so i'll be getting the shape or the size of my table with the glass i'll be putting on top of the table and i'll be cutting out the shape i'm cutting out two of that um this cardboard and I hope you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to leave your comments down below so here i was just trying to use a soldering iron to take out the metal from the hold because i tried taking out like without the <laughs> it did not work so i had to go through this process so basically that's what i'm doing yeah so after doing this my bucket is ready to get on the board i'm going to use my bonding glue um, my white glue to you know attach the two of the cardboard to form a base for my side table or for this project basically so i'm just putting the two together to make it very thick on the on the base to hold whatever is getting on it like you know i need a solid foundation you get it yeah so i think i probably took too much glue <laughs> yeah it's about sticky so i'm just putting it together i was doing that to make sure that every part was put together very well now that my base is ready I'm trying to fix the bucket on the center or in the center of the base to have you know a very even working space and then I like to fold the card like this before working with it because it makes it a bit flexible to work with so I'll be doing all my cards like this like it's going to go through this process before I attach it or like I take it to the base right so guys basically that's what I'm doing I did this to all the cards that I have with me. I did it off camera because I didn't want it to take like forever in this video. I had about one hour video but I was sure to edit it to about 11 minutes as you can see. And thanks for watching. My light went off. So I had to continue the next day. As you can see guys, now I'm, glue I'm going in with my glue gun. And to hold the bucket to the base and as you can see i've started attaching my cardboard to give it the length that i want so basically i just go around with all my cards and i'll be making some cuts to be able to make space for it to um attach to the base this time my stapler my industrial stapler decided to mess me up but it's fine i had to use the glue all through um my project so these were the reasons i was making those cuts you saw me do earlier basically my glue was so helpful my glue my glue gun was so helpful my <laughs> my industrial stapler was like nah this is not heavy man i cannot staple it for you so I am going to fill the space you are seeing in between the card and the bucket with lots of trash guys, like lots of cardboard pieces and lots of like just any pieces I'm, I'm having around at all, like just to make that empty space hold, you know. So I'm still like putting my cardboards together as you can see in the video. And this is the last of the cards I am putting together, but it's very, very like you know long so i had to reduce it and i'm doing just that so that the size can match the ones that i already have on the base mm -hmm. this project took me a week to make um i would have done it within like two or three days but you know i i work so i close work at six and i get home sometimes six thirty seven 
then that's the time I used to, you know, record my videos. And I have a daughter who is all over me, guys. So it makes it extremely difficult to even record some of these videos. But yeah, I try. So guys, I told you I'll be like filling the empty space with lots of pieces of cardboard and that's exactly what I did. Then I had to cover it with another like, you know, cardboard, rounded cardboard to hold it. And I had this useless yoga mat in my house I bought from Kiku. Like it's actually the most useless thing I've ever bought online. I cannot even stand on it in <laughs> in peace and exercise so I had to just cut it you know and that's what I'm using so I couldn't get my health um, my one inch foam I had to like get these pieces and put them together Um, from the um, coco bing I hear my coco bing ash foam depot I couldn't get I couldn't get it so that's what I got and i had to manage it guys but it looks so big to me like, so i had to remove all that i have attached oh charlie it was work but then i had to do that um because at the end of the day the table has to be the same size as the glass that is going to be on it you get it so this is the fabric i'm using for this uh project it's a fabric i got from like just a normal fabric store and since my industrial stapler is not helping, I still had to use the glue to do all of this. It was just stressful. And I was all over the place with the, you see, when I staple it, it comes out. You see in this, in this part of the video, you see the pin coming out of the, you see, I've removed it. It just can't hold. I don't know why. So I just had to go in with the glue gun again. And if I'd shown you the whole process, I think this video would take about like 40 minutes or 50 minutes, which I did not want to do that. So basically, I just had to edit all that part out of it and, you know. So I used a glue gun for everything. So in case you don't have a stapler, like an industrial stapler, that is as useless as mine, just use your glue gun, okay? And you're good to go. So what I was doing here was to take some of the fabric out because like I had lots of fabric at the end of the like you know the concealing or covering process where I had to take out else nah Charlie. So I was just fixing that area after the cutting covering it up nicely and then making sure that it looks good. And yes, I had to skip the video so it runs fast. The ideas I had in my mind is not actually what I'm putting together. But I'm glad it came out so nice that I made a lot of mess. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay to sometimes try and fail, make mistakes and look messy and all of that. It's okay. So this is my first ever DIY on my channel. And I have lots coming up. So brace yourself, guys. And I hope you try some of these things out. I got these starts from China Mall. Um, I got most of these things from China Mall, okay? So please, when you when you want any of these things, you can just pass by China Mall at whichever location you are, and I'm sure you get them. So these are trimming mats. Um, basically, I'm just adding them to give it a good balance because one part of the table has good amount of fabric the other parts looks pretty empty so when the table stands it looks a bit unbalanced so that's why i did that and i'm not adding my final trims um my golden trims to the edges to give it that outstanding look so yeah basically i just did that to make it really stand out in the corner guys i'm sorry i did not explain the part i went in with the solid tape i just did that to give it a very secure hold because i could not trust my glue gun and my industrial stapler was not helping so i just had to go in with the solid tape i know when it holds it's just the, like it's going to be firm like that so that was why i just had to go in with the solid tape yeah you can give this a try and when trying be creative about it be extremely creative be ready to explore just have fun whilst you make your mistakes 
I'm going to spray my my glass that's going to be on top of my side table to hold it and prevent it from any hot liquid so like just any liquid in general it's now dried I left it in the Sun to dry and I'll not be using the side I actually sprayed no I'll not use this side I'll use the wrong side yes this side is where I'll be using on the table so you guys this is the final look I feel it has given my space a very elegant and exquisite look making this project I made a lot of mess and I did not hide it from you guys because I wanted you to know that sometimes it's okay when people see you struggling that sometimes it's okay when you are not perfect don't hide your imperfections work on them I hope I tried on this project and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to leave your comment down below. See you in my next one.